if you are joining for your master's degree that is mtech or ms you will be getting the stipend from the government that is 12400 per month like your score is decreasing like 700 and above you can go for trichy varangal little more less you have somewhere around your score in 600 or something like that you can opt for surat kal kalikat i mean to say like if i talk about it hyderabad hello everyone so in today's session we are going to discuss about what those students should do who has not got uh, up to the mark the gate score or else you can say they haven't achieved exactly the rank what they were expecting consider uh, some of us if we got uh, some average score in the gate exam just we have qualified the gate exam what should our next step we should take that is completely decided based on your individual opinion but i can just guide you that what are the opportunities open for those students who got average marks in the gate so let us go let us understand in this complete session we are going to discuss about if you are having a low gate score or average gate score what would be the opportunities for you for your higher studies and which are the colleges or universities you can opt for further i am even i am going to even talk about in the today's session that if any student who did not qualify the gate is there any opportunity for that student or else who has not appeared for the gate for those students what opportunities are there so we'll start first with the low gate score as you already know you people already know with the gate score consider even if you have qualified the gate exam no doubt if you are joining for your masters degree that is mtech or ms you will be getting the stipend from the government that is 12400 per month so all those students who want to opt for that stipend and go for masters even with the average gate score what are the iits they can go for what are the nits they can go for or even they can go for triple its we will understand in this session how to you know very well that there are top 7 iits and including iisc bangalore they conduct this gate exam so if you are getting your score let us say that your score i am not talking about your percentage i am talking about your score consider you are getting your score in the gate above 700 okay so if you are getting above 700 what you can go for that is obvious you can go for there the top iits that seven iits i'll name name out all those iits you can even go for your masters in rc bangalore as well so we'll discuss first about iits then we'll enter into nits and further all the other higher studies you can go for with a average gate score or low gate score see first of all let us decide about iit iit you know that if you want the admission in iit you have to register your name on this very platform that is coap what is exactly this coap it is common offer acceptance common offer acceptance portal right so you have to register on this then only you can go with the individual iits for their cut off and your admission procedure now let me tell you that above 700 first we'll talk it about actually that is not required here but you know very well that above 700 you will be getting approx all the old iits including iisc bangalore what are the old iits i am just mentioning over here you know very well the old iits are like this time the uh, gate exam was conducted by iit rurki you have further you have iit then uh, you can say we have iit guwahati next year they will be conducting so iit guwahati then we have iit madras i am writing all the seven top iits that is old iits iit madras iit delhi then we have iit bombay further we have uh, including this i think we got 1 2 3 4 5 we have then iit we can say uh, kharagpur iit kharagpur we have iit kanpur and last but not the least we have even one more iit that is 
I think we got three, four, five, six, seven, seven IITs. And last but not the least, we have one more that is ISC Bangalore. Okay, so this this is for your above seven hundred. If you are getting here. You can get the admission in the various discipline, whichever you are opting for. Okay, maximum you can get, but you have to go through their own websites for the admission procedure and the cutoff marks. Now, if you are getting below 700, then what? This is more important for the today's session that is below 700 score. Is it we can get the admission in IIT? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. But I am writing in the decreasing order. I mean to say you will be getting the admission in the newly formed IITs. Newly formed IITs, you will be getting the admission in the especially the discipline which you are opting for, which you want for. Okay, so below 700, you can go for the admission. That is, uh, I can say, you can say IIT Mandi. All the newly made IITs, we, we can say, we have IIT Patna. So many are there. We have IIT, then uh, I think Jodhpur. Further, we can say we have IIT Dhanbad, IIT Rupar. We have something like IIT Palakkad. We have uh, further that is, uh, you can say you can even go for IIT Bhilai. And as I said, you IIT that is uh, newly made IIT, IIT Dhanbad. Actually, it was ISM, Indian Schools of Mind newly made IIT, that is IIT Dhanbad and so on. Okay, Dhanbad and so on, etc. These IITs you can opt for if your score is below 700. Now, let us talk about if I want to enter into NITs. Again, NITs, you have some top NITs like NIT Trichy on the top. Then we can say that is NIT Warangal. So, if you want admission in NITs, see top NITs means obvious more than 700, your score be, must be there in the gate exam. But if you have below 700 also, you can opt for NITs. And for NITs, you know very well, you have to register yourself at CCMT. What is this CCMT? It is centralized, centralized uh, acceptance. Uh, I think cent CCMT is centralized counseling. for mtech am i right this is for full form of ccmt so you have to register yourself here okay then all the nits you can opt for excluding one or two if you are getting below 700 excluding one or two maximum all the nits you can opt for i'm writing the nits top nit as you know nit 3g here you have to go for above 700 score then only it is possible for your admission in the uh, subject or the course which you are opting for specially. See, there are some subjects or the courses uh, which actually uh, the discipline which actually it is not that famed or new subject introduced, then your score, even less score, you can go for it. Then you have NIT Trichy, then we have NIT Warangal. Further, we have something like uh, we can say more NITs. We have NIT Jodhpur. Uh, we have uh, further uh, NIT Trichy Varangal. I think for this you should be having more than 700, then you can go for it. Okay, more than 700. For this, your sh uh, score should be more than 700 gate score, then only you can opt for. And rest, what I am talking about, like NIT Jodhpur, you have, then NIT Suratkal, you have Suratkal. Further, you have NIT like uh, I can say Calicut. More NITs, if we talk about, we have something like NIT Raur Kela. So, this I am writing in the decreasing order, you do understand. That is uh, like your score is decreasing like 700 and above, you can go for Trichy Varangal little more or less you have somewhere around your score in 600 or something like that you can opt for surat kal kalikat less than that you have then nit raur kela you are having further nit allahabad you have nit allahabad then you can you have even the option you can go for nit delhi is there 
okay i'm writing completely in the decreasing order so based on your score you can decide and you can opt for the admission that is nit surat you have okay then further more we are having here we have road few then we have nit durgapur we have nit jamshedpur then we have something like nit jaipur we can say we have like uh, nit kurukshetra nit jodhpur i already wrote nit srinagar nit srinagar we have then we have nit uh, uh, i think surat kal i wrote uh, what is missing nit kurukshetra so these are the nits so on these nits you can opt for just go for uh, going through their websites first uh, register yourself on centralized counseling for mtech that is ccmt register your name then go to their individual websites and check out that the discipline which you want to do uh, mtech in so those discipline what are the cut off and you can go for the admission in these apply for the admission in these if it is 700 or above you can go for directly nit trichia and warangal so this is regarding our nits moving further what if i want to do ms you must be knowing that you can do your master in science uh, in india with few of the iits i am not talking about all iits few of the iits and you can go india in india that is few iits you can go for that is iits am i right few iits i cannot say all few iits uh, then abroad if you want to go for your master in science you can uh, go for like few of the countries like uh, germany and singapore they accept the gate score for their uh, ms entrance that is germany singapore okay they do uh, go for the admission or intake through gre and they even go through gate for their ms admission or intake okay now regarding uh, ms in india if you want to do uh, through iits which iit you can opt for ms in india i can say i not only iits you can even go for nits also you nits even prefer that you can do for your master in science but remember if you are doing this ms this will be actually for your complete 3 years okay actually when you are going for mtech this is for only 2 years but ms if you are opting for this is your complete 3 years okay this will be for your 3 years course if you are going for iit nits uh, and uh, you can say triple iits as well okay for ms now moving further if you these are all the option you can go for your higher studies with a low gate score or you can say average gate score moving further if we talk about that if you want to enter into research you must be knowing with the gate score you can enter into the research that is csir okay and jrf jet is junior research fellowship okay uh, in these two also you can go for, for but remember one thing if you are going for csir no doubt uh, i think you can say you are placed 80% chances placement is guaranteed here and uh, here placement is guaranteed but jrf program uh, i think this is not a degree this is just a, a research part okay so you will be getting the certification of it it is not your masters degree or something like that okay moving further if we talk about ha huh, if you are not having any gate score you have not qualified the gate exam or else consider you haven't appeared for the gate exam but you want to do your post graduation okay here let me remind you the csir this is actually your equivalent to phd this is equivalent to your phd okay so moving further that will be a five years plan so online and offline mtech is it possible without gate score let me tell you yes yes it is possible first of all let us talk about offline mtech few of the iits and nits go for their individual intake i mean to say through gate no doubt they took take the admission they just uh, allow the student to go for the admission but without gate also few of the iits they conduct their individual exams i mean to say like if i talk about it hyderabad triple it hyderabad i am talking about triple it hyderabad you must have heard about they conduct there they do not 
take admission through gate they directly conduct their own individual exam called as pg double e okay you can do your m tech here i'm talking about all the offline part uh like uh, if you talk about iit gandhi nagar you must have heard about iit gandhi nagar i think uh, they go for some early bird admission early bird admission in the sense uh, if your early bird admission this in the sense consider uh if your cgpa is really good or excellent no need to write the gate exam directly you can take your admission in iit gandhi nagar and few more iits and iic if your cgpa is really excellent and let me tell you you can even opt for online mtech consider you are doing your uh, job you are a professional then you, you can go for they uh, if your cgpa is good and you have some two years experience two things here for going for online mtech first thing is that uh, at least two years experience work experience you must be having at least two years work experience you must be having then you can go for same iits and nits what i am talking about okay and the second thing your cgpa should be really excellent in your btech that is your graduation or else if you want to go with the same part with the average gate score or low gate score let me tell you there are the universities where you can go for your masters that is mtech except this iits nits and triple iits let me tell you you can go for something like uh, you must have in, uh, heard about vit vellore institute of technology directly you can with your average score you can get the admission there okay i mean to say i'm talking about below 700 not only vit you have osmania university you have again uh, something like jnu jawaharlal nehru university okay in these places you can get the admission you can even opt for uh, something like vnit nagpur vnit nagpur and uh, so on i i mean to say these places you can get your admission if your gate score is low or else even if you haven't written your gate exam but your cgp is excellent you can get the admission over here so these are the admission procedures you can go for with your average gate score or else you can say if you haven't written the gate exam or you haven't qualified the gate exam these are the opportunities you can go for the higher studies you can go for so hope this session will be helpful to you so take your decision properly and promptly i can just guide you okay the decision you have to make your decision i can just show you the path this is the way you have to go and remaining it totally in your hand let me tell you some of the students they ask me that whether i should again rewrite the gate exam or not again this is your individual decision but let me uh, if you ask me my suggestion definitely i must say that if you have already written the gate exam in the third year definitely you should try to write the gate exam again in your fourth year consider if in the fourth year you have written the gate exam and you think that you can score even better means you have the proper plan proper sketch to crack this gate or get a good score then you can invest one more year time but already you have invested if you have invested for one two three years let me tell you that not only gate is the life there are other opportunities you can go for so hope you have enjoyed the session thank you all thank you so much take care bye bye